My name is H.K. Miller, and uh, I just hung a show here, and Brian Jones, one of the owners of the Artist Stand, has asked me to explain the technique of the show. After my last show here at the Artist Stand in January uh, 2019, I realized I kind of needed a change. Uh, prior to that, and after my retirement from public school teaching, I had been doing kind of the standard oil paintings. That requires uh, taking a canvas and doing an underpainting uh, in umber to work out the values. Then you apply paint one coat at a time from dark to light and thin to thick. Uh, that's kind of the standard operating procedure. I realized after the show that I wanted to lighten up and become uh, a little more, uh, what would you say, transparent or watercolory. So I began studying other artists, and that's when I stumbled upon the Vermont painter, Charlie Hunter. I got his video, Rule-Breaking uh, Rule Landscapes, and really studied it. And what Charlie does, that's different than what I was doing, is he takes a hardwood panel, and he puts multiple co coats of gesso on it, acrylic gesso, and he puts it on very thickly so that you can see the brush strokes. Then he mixes a slurry of water mixable uh, oil paints, Cobra brand, and he puts with a chip brush, which you can buy at uh, Lowe's, he applies that slurry to the entire panel and lets it drip and run and do its thing. And then rather than keeping adding, adding paint, he starts to remove paint. And these are the tools he uses. Paper towels, stimudents, which are little sticks you use to clean your teeth, Q-tips, and the most amazing tool, a rubber squeegee. So let's just pretend I put that slurry on there and let it drip. Then I take the paper towel and remove the slurry in the sky area. Then I take the Q-tip and do the sky holes. And then I take the squeegee and I remove the white areas or the grayish areas, like so. And then I can put on another slurry down here and spray it with a water sprayer, a plant sprayer. And you get the dripping running effect. And that's how uh, Charlie Hunter, that's the Charlie Hunter method of painting. Then you can go in with darker paint and add details with a flat synthetic brushes. And that's how the windows and these dark areas and some of the trees are scumbled in like that. The studio then is used to carve out the trees and uh, pieces of wood in the roof and so forth. That's how that painting was created. Now, with any teacher-student activity, the student takes what the teacher teaches and then adds his own um, ideas to make his own paintings. So what I needed to do, what I wanted to do, was add more color. So I started in uh, some of the slurries here to add the greens and the blues and the different colors. With the brush, I added different colors in here. I also was riding on Route 217 outside of Blairsville and saw this wonderful farm in front of the road to, to the winery back there. In the beautiful robin's egg blue sky, I said to myself, why don't I just tint the gesso layer for the sky air? That's what I did uh, for these paintings. Now the question is, will I ever go back to painting the additive technique where you add the colors on top? Probably. Uh, did I enjoy taking off and, and doing this style of painting? Yes. If you'd like to come in and see the show, uh, it will be open. It's open now until probably the 4th of July. Make sure you wear your masks.
or you can visit theartistandgallery.com to see uh, a virtual exhibit or online sales. Now one other thing, people have asked me about my affinity for painting things in Indiana County and why I do that. Well, I came here in 1968 to attend IUP. Uh, I fell in love with the area. I also fell in love and married a local person, Susan Lepley Miller. And uh, I just enjoy riding around the county and uh, looking for things like RNP portals or uh, old schools out in Penn Run or the beautiful barns all over the county. That's why I paint here. Thank you very much, and 